Hello, good people. Welcome once again to、um, this series on Matplotlib, and we're going to continue from where we left off in the last video. Okay, so I'm just going to set a new cell down here, and、um, in this video, I'm just going to show you how to use NumPy arrays instead of regular Python list because of the obvious limitations that、um, you know about in Python list. So the 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 point here is that Matplotlib is a generic data visualization tool that works with vanilla Python list、uh, as well as、um, NumPy arrays. But it turns out that it is used more often in the data science and and machine learning landscape. So, and in 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 that area, we do more with NumPy arrays. So、um, it becomes second nature to use Matplotlib with NumPy arrays instead of vanilla Python list. But you you need to always have that. At the forefront of your mind, that it's possible to use、um, plain old Python list, and、um, it's going to work. But the advantage of the Matplotlib NumPy, I'm sorry, the NumPy arrays is that it it gives you the ability to perform vectorized computations. Okay, so instead of using for loops, it is going to vectorize all these operations and then perform them in a much faster、um, time frame than you would if you had to create for loops on your own. So I'm going to create a NumPy array, and、um, we've already imported NumPy here. That is why we imported it all this while, and、um, we've never used this. So now is the time for us to use it. So I'm going to create my x values, and my x values I want them to be、um, length space between negative five and five. I want five hundred of them. So the length space function, as you can see, it says it returns an evenly spaced numbers over the specified Interval. Okay, so basically, you tell it a start number, an end number, and you tell it how many numbers you want it to generate between this range. And once you tell it, you, you give it the number of items you want. It's going to create numbers that are equally spaced within this range, and then it will return it to you. I want a quadratic graph, so I'm going to say my y is equal to x squared. So y values, and then I'll just square it. So Right here, you are seeing the advantage of using NumPy because I'm using NumPy arrays. I can square the entire x values without writing a for loop. That is the advantage of having a vectorized、uh, implementation of some of these mathematical operators. Okay, so now we have our x and y values. Let's go ahead and then I'll do plt dot plot, and I'm going to plot my x values and I'm going to plot them against the y values. And、um, once we run this, you can see that. Right here, we have our nice-looking quadratic curve that ranges from negative five to five, and then because the y values are the squares of the x values, it is from zero to twenty-five. Because yes, indeed, we have negative values in the x values.、Um, yes, but if you square negative values, you still get a positive number. That is why the y-axis is showing no negative、um, entry in there on the on the axis labels. So. This is meant to be a short video. It's meant to teach you how to use NumPy array. So henceforth, if you see me using any NumPy array in place of what you expected to have seen a regular Python list, know that、um, NumPy works with both both data structures. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.